Ang programa nito ay rated M A T H. Ang kop sa mga bata gustong matuto, maging alerto, kalentado at laging handa. Isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ako muli si Teacher Ray at narito tayo ngayon sa Math Thinker Studio upang maghatid ulit ng panibagong aralin sa Mathematics Friday. Kaya kung ikaw ay gusto mong matuto, maging alerto, talentado at laging handa, dito ka na sa Math Thinker Studio. Dahil dito, marami kang matututunan. Our topic for today is solve routine and non-routine problems involving division of fraction. Bago tayo magpatuloy, remember the following keywords. First, understand the problem. Sabi nga, hindi natin kayang sagutin ang problem kung hindi natin ito naintindihan. Second, Plan of the best strategy. So, kailangan din natin siyang planuhin ng mabuti kung ano ang pinaka-the best na estratehiya na gagamitin natin. Third, solve based on our formulated plan. Pag na-plano na natin, kailangan na nating i-apply. Okay? And then the last one, check if the answer is acceptable. Ngayon, na-apply na natin yung... Uh, Yung strategy natin, i-check natin kung akma nga ba yung plan na pinormulate natin base sa ating problem. Okay? So, look at this picture. Ito ay picture ng pinya o pineapple. Alam niyo ba na ang pineapple ay maraming benefits na makukuha natin na makakatulong sa ating katawan? Mga ilan ng mga to ay boost immunity, aids digestion, relieves cough and sinusitis, reduces arthritis pain, strengthens bones, reduces period cramps, and lowers the risk of cancer. So, ilan lamang ito sa mga pwede natin makuha sa pagkain natin ng pinya. Ngayon, kailangan natin pangalagaan ang ating sarili. Diba? Lalo na ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya. Sabi nga nila, health is wealth. Kaya, ugaliin natin kumain ng prutas para sa ating katawan. Now, let us proceed to our first problem. Let us read. Pauline prepared three-fourths liter of pineapple juice for her three friends. How much juice was served to each of her friends if she served equally among them? Let us analyze the problem. Let us answer the question, what is the problem asked for? The amount of juice Pauline served to each of her friends. Then, what are the given facts? The data being used to solve the problem. So, we have 3 fourths liter of pineapple juice and 3 friends. So, what is our plan? Because of the word equally serve among them, we use division. Okay? So, we divide 3 fourths by 3. So now, let's solve. Let us divide 3 fourths divided by 3. First, we are going to identify the divisor, which is 3. Then, let us copy the first fraction, and the reciprocal of the divisor is 1 third. Then we are going to change the division sign into multiplication. Then, let us multiply. 3 times 1 and 4 times 3 is equal to 3 over 12. 
it's time for us to simplify our answer into lowest term. Okay, we are going to get the GCF of 3 and 12. We're going to list down the factors of 3. So we have 1 and 3. Then the factors of 12, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Hanapin natin kung ano ang common factor sa kanilang dalawa. And that is 3. Ngayon, gagamitin natin yung 3 to simplify 3, 12 or 3 over 12 into lowest term. So let us divide. 3 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3. And the answer is 1 fourth. Meaning, tigwa 1 fourth liter na juice ang para sa friend ni Pauline. So, bawat isa sa kanila may tigwa 1 fourth na liter na pineapple juice. Ngayon, check natin. How do we check? Simply, multiply the answer by the divisor. So, let us multiply. 1 fourth times 3 is equal to, of course, copy the first fraction, multiply it by a fraction which is equivalent to 3, and that is 3 over 1. Then, let us multiply. 1 times 3, and 4 times 1 is equal to 3 4. And, pareho sila sa ating dividend. Meaning, ang 1 fourth na sagot natin kanina ay acceptable. So, let us proceed to our problem number 2. Jester has a piece of wood measuring 1 and 2 fourths meter. He needs to cut it to pieces measuring 3 fourths meter long. How many pieces of wood did Jester cut? Let us analyze the problem. Okay? What is asked? The problem asked for the pieces of wood did Jester cut. Then what are the given facts? We have 1 and 2 fourths meter of wood and 3 fourths meter long cut into pieces. So, ano ngayon ang plano natin dito? Because of Jester needs to cut the wood into pieces with 3 fourths meter long, we use division. So, we divide 1 and 2 fourths by 3 fourths. Okay now, let us solve the problem. Let us divide 1 and 2 fourths divided by 3 fourths. First, identify the divisor. So, our divisor is 3 fourths. Now, we're going to convert mixed number into improper fraction. Paano? Okay? So, let us multiply 4 times 1 is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 over 4. So, our fraction now is 6 over 4. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor 3 fourths, which is 4 over 3. Then, we are going to change the division sign into multiplication. Then, let us multiply. 6 times 4 and 4 times 3 is equal to 24 over 12. Then let us simplify 24 over 12 into lowest term. Paano? By simply dividing 24 divided by 12. So the answer is 2. So there are two pieces of wood. Jester, cut. Okay? So let us check. Let us multiply 2 times 3 fourths times 3 fourths is equal to we're going to make this whole number as a fraction which is equal to 2 and that is 2 over 1 times 3 fourths our answer is 6 over 4 then 6 over 4 convert it into mixed number and that is 
6 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. And that is 1 and 2 fourths. So our answer is 1 and 2 fourths. Pareho sila dun sa ating dividend. Meaning to say, ang ating sagot ay tama. Okay, so let us proceed to problem number 3. Rene has 9 fourths liters of vinegar. If he repacks this into 1 fourth liters in every bottle, how many bottles does he need? So let us analyze the problem. The problem asks for the number of bottles he needs to repack the vinegar. And these are the data to be needed. 9 fourths liters of vinegar and 1 fourth liter in every bottle. So, ang plano natin dito ay because of Rene needs to repack the vinegar with 1 fourth liter in every bottle, we use division. So, we divide 9 fourths by 1 fourth. Then, let us solve. Let us divide 9 fourths divided by 1 fourth. So, our divisor is 1 fourth. Now, let us copy the first fraction. Then, we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 4 over 1. Then, let us change the multiplication or the division sign into multiplication sign. Then, let us multiply 9 times 4 and 4 times 1 is equal to 36 over 4. And simplify our answer into lowest term, 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. So there are 9 battles na kakailanganin ni Rene para sa pagrepak nito. Check natin kung tama. Let us multiply 9 times 1 fourth. Okay? Then write our whole number into fraction form which is equal to 1 and that is 9 over 1 times 1 fourth. Then let us multiply 9 times 1 and 1 times 4 is equal to 9 over 4. So pareho sila sa ating dividend. Meaning to say, our answer is correct. Problem number 4. Let us read, Renato bought 30 meters of cloth making funds. If each pair of funds requires 4 and 1 half meters of cloth, how many pair of funds can he make? The problem asked for the number of pair of funds can Renato make. What are the given facts? We have 30 meters of cloth and 4 and 1 half meter of cloth requires for a pair of funds. Then ang plano dito, because of Renato, needs to make a pair of funds using 4 and 1 half meters in its pair, we use division. So we divide 30 by 4 and 1 half. Okay, so let us solve the problem. Let us divide 30 divided by 4 and 1 half. Our divisor is at 4 and 1 half. Let us copy the whole number. And of course, the reciprocal of the divisor is we're going to multiply 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 9 over 2. So the reciprocal of 9 over 2 is 2 over 9. Then multiply. So let us multiply 30 times 2 is equal to 60 over 9. Then simplify 60 over 9 into lowest term. 
paano i-divide natin yung 60 divided by 9 is equal to 6. 6 times 9 is 54. And let us subtract 60 minus 54 is equal to 6. So 6 and 6 over 9. So our answer is 6 and 6 over 9. And 6, 9, ay kailangan natin siyang isimplify ulit into logos term. Paano? Kunin natin ang factors ng 6 and 9. So, the factors of 6, we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the factors of 9 ay 1, 3, 9. And their common factor is 3. So, gamitin natin yung 3 to simplify 6 over 9 by 6 divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3. So, the final answer is 6 and 2 thirds. Tingnan naman natin ngayon kung tama ang sagot natin. So, let us multiply 6 and 2 thirds times 4 and 1 half. Okay? So, we're going to rewrite this mixed number into improper fraction. So, paano? So, 3 times 6 plus 2 is equal to 4 over 3 and that is 20 over 3 multiplied by 2 times 4 plus 1 over 2 that is 9 over 2 and let us multiply 20 times 9 is equal to 180 then 3 times 2 is equal to 6 then if we are going to divide 180 divided by 6 the answer is 30 so pareho sila dun sa ating dividend na nasa taas. So for our 30 seconds, shout out kay Christian J. Linis, Marjorie Katayong, Charo Alba, Princess Jewel Beato, Natalie Kumpa, Christine Reyes, Chris Aljur Abrena, Ace Quids and Reynold Apilado. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood ng aking mga videos. That ends with our discussion for today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates. Again, this is Teacher Rai saying goodbye and God bless everyone. See you on my next videos. Paalam! Thank you so much!